Jair Garcia and his family fled Venezuela in September. After a harrowing two-month journey north, they were forced for a time to sleep on the streets of Matamoros, on Mexico's border with Texas. Only last week were they given a spot in one of this town's few migrant shelters. It has not been easy and we are thankful because we have food and a roof over our heads. Many others are still in the streets with their children. A town with shelter beds for 1,500 people max, Matamoros is in the eye of the migrant crisis storm. Humanitarian organizations working in this region estimate some 17,000 migrants are currently waiting in towns south of the Texas border. And with migrant shelters already well past capacity, many are being forced to sleep on the streets of Mexican border towns like Matamoros. The US Supreme Court's extension of the Title 42 protocols has made a bad situation worse for migrants here. A final ruling may not come until next summer. We spent all of our savings. We sold our car just to get here. So how can I go back to Venezuela? We have nothing there. However, not everyone is disappointed by the extension. For this shelter's director, Francisco Gallardo, the end of Title 42 is cause for dread. Ojalá que no lo quitaran. I hope they don't remove it. The announcement that Title 42 might come to an end caused a surge of migrants to the border, and this town does not have the capacity to receive them. So it would be a very difficult situation for both the migrants and for this town. But for Jair Garcia, who has led his family more than 4,000 kilometers from Venezuela to the U.S. border, there's no turning back. I have thought about returning to Venezuela, but I can't. They tell me it's worse now than when I left. I will wait to see what happens. How long these migrants can wait may now depend on how long this Mexican border town and others like it can provide for them. Alastair Babastock, CGTN, Matamoros, Mexico.